treating addiction using C2K virtual environment, is it efficient or not? Well, past clinical studies published for now 10 years, so less than anxiety disorders, but now there is quite uh, some published articles, uh, have demonstrated that indeed for tobacco, alcohol and a bit heroin, uh, it is proven that indeed, on a scientific point of view, um, when the patients are exposed and they are, doing the, they are doing the treatment in virtual reality, there is, with time, less craving, there is less dependency, and there is more autonomy uh, for the patient. So yes, it's, it's scientifically efficient to treat patients suffering from diverse kind of addiction. So how many sessions do you need uh, to treat uh, a patient suffering from uh, addiction? Well, in the university hospital, we usually um, do that just like anxiety disorders in all, all together, overall, uh, 12 to 14 sessions. The first and the second session will be only dedicated to teaching the patient the method about dealing with emotion, dealing with craving, dealing with dysfunctional thoughts related to addiction. Then we'll make a mix of, for the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, often, uh, make a mix between the two. So there'll be a bit of talk about carry on teaching the methods and, and virtual reality exposure. And then the seventh to the twelfth, you will only use virtual reality to expose the patient to uh, addictive products so they can review with, with you and, uh, and exercise the methods you have taught them to deal with uh, addiction and to be, of course, more autonomous. So regarding scientific proof of therapeutic efficiency of virtual reality exposure therapy for addiction, there is already 10 to 13 years of past publication. Uh, and all of these publications, including the one that I have published in scientific papers, tend to prove that indeed after several sessions of uh, um, virtual reality exposure therapy, the patients are treated, which means that they are less dependent, there is less craving, there could be a change in quality of life, and they are more autonomous. So what kind of addiction can you treat with a C2K virtual environment? Well, namely tobacco addiction, so cigarette addiction, or nicotine addiction, alcohol addiction, and also some more hard drugs addiction, like heroin, for example. But it's very experimental at that time, in 2020. Uh, but all in all, you can treat all these addictions using a virtual environment. So when we, when we are conducting virtual exposure with patients for addiction, often the first session, just before, they don't believe it. They say, I will, not feel any I will not feel any craving, I will not have any emotion, it will not work. Uh, some are like this, they are a bit skeptical. It's perfectly normal, and uh, some of them are excited, etc. But as long as they done uh, the, uh, the headset, and they indeed in the virtual bar, in uh, the virtual bus stand, in the virtual restaurant, they do feel craving. They, they can see that indeed the illusion is working. And because they are feeling real emotion, real craving, then the professional, you can help them dealing with those. So yes, that should be the first reaction, to be skeptical, and then they can really feel the efficiency on the emotional factor. So using C2K virtual environments to treat addiction is really easy and very accessible because it was built for many kind of professional with different kind of familiarity regarding computer technology. Uh, so it means that it's very accessible. Just with several clicks with your mouse, you can turn on uh, the C2K virtual environment, choose the relevant addiction-related virtual environments, so the bar, the restaurant, etc. So it's very, very easy and it's done in seconds. So how, how a professional can know how to treat people, treat addiction, treat patients, with 
uh, virtual reality. Well, you can find on the C2K website guidelines, so there is guidelines which are provided. Uh, you can also find video tutorial on the net. You can also find books about it. And myself, I'm organizing uh, teaching, uh, formation, uh, in order to uh, teach professional, so physician and psychotherapist, how to use virtual environment to treat addiction.